Hello, everybody. Today I'm reading the first half of the book, Our Seasons, by Grace Lynn and Renita T. McNeely. I will finish the other two seasons tomorrow. And I love learning about this. We've already gone through and wrote down some information we already know about the four seasons. And after we read the book, we're going to write down some things we've learned today. When the earth is cold, we long for the butterflies, yet in warmth, want snow. Why do we have seasons? Did you know that the earth is tilted as it revolves around the sun? If you drew an imaginary line through the earth's poles, this line, the axis, would be tilted at an angle, not straight up and down. The tilt of the axis never changes. So part of the year you are facing the sun more directly and part of the year you are not. Which season do you experience, which season you experience depends on where you live and on the time of year. When your part of the earth is tilted toward the sun, it receives the most direct sunlight and heat. The days are long and the nights short. It is summer. When your part of the earth is tilted away from the sun, it is winter. The days are short and the nights long. There are times when the earth's axis is not pointing toward or away from the sun. This causes the less extreme seasons of spring and autumn. Autumn, hunching the blue sky. The wind shows off its power. Kiki almost flies. What makes the wind? Air moves when there's a difference in air pressure from one area to another. Air pressure is the weight of air pushing down from above. Most differences in air pressure are caused by the sun's heat because the sun heats the earth unevenly. The air is warmer in some places than in others. Warm air doesn't press down as much as cold air, so we say it has low pressure. Cold air has high pressure. When air is cooled, it shrinks and sinks. When air is heated, it expands and rises. As warm air rises, cold air flows in from surrounding areas to replace the rising air. Air always moves from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure. When air moves, you feel it as wind. Why do leaves change color? The color of leaves depends on what kind of pigments they have in their cells. Pigments are tiny spots of color. Leaves are green because their cells are full of a green pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll helps plants use sunlight to make food. The leaves of many plants are full of red, yellow, and orange pigments as well. During the spring and summer when leaves are busy making food, chlorophyll hides the other colors. In the fall, the leaves stop making chlorophyll and the green color goes away. When you, what you see are the other beautiful pigments shining through. Golden leaves flutter. Kiki tries to rake them all but they keep falling. Kiki sees her breath. She pretends she's a dragon blowing out hot steam. Why do I see my breath? No matter how cold it is outside, your body is always a steady warm temperature. When you talk, you breathe out warm, moist air. Your breath mixes with the air outside your mouth. On cold autumn days, your breath mixes with cold air. When the warm, moist air meets cold air, it condenses, turning into teeny tiny water droplets. You see these tiny water droplets as a faint white cloud. Winter. Owen tastes the snow. Swallowing, he licks his lips. Needs sugar, he says. What is snow? The air around you is full of water. The water in the, is in the form of gas called water vapor, so you can't see it. Hi. In the sky where the air is cold, the water vapor turns into tiny droplets of water that you see as clouds. Clouds are made up of millions of water droplets. 
In winter, when it is very cold, the water droplets and clouds freeze into ice crystals. Over time, these crystals get bigger and form beautiful snowflakes. When the crystals get too heavy to stay up in the air, they fall to the ground as snow. Why is there frost on the window? Your parents do not like to go out to their cars and see that there is frost on the windows. And you'll understand this when you grow up and drive. When water vapor touches a very cold glass surface, it turns into ice, making frost. Once the first ice crystal has formed, other crystals slowly begin to grow out from it into patterns that look like feathers, ferns, and swirls. The patterns that frost makes depend on many things, including temperature and wind. Even tiny scratches or bits of dust on the glass can affect the frost pattern. Frost forms best when the air is very still. If the conditions are just right, the frost may look like a large sparkly painting. A lacy curtain has been drawn on the window. Owen's cheeks turn red from the cold lipstick kisses given by the wind. Why do my cheeks turn red in the cold? When you have been playing out in the cold for a long time, your cheeks turn a nice rosy color. This is your body's way of protecting you from freezing. At low temperatures, the blood vessels in your face open up to let more blood flow through. Blood carries heat to your skin and helps you stay warm. When more blood flows through your cheeks, they turn red. And we are going to stop here because we're at the end of winter. Tomorrow I will read the other two seasons. So thank you.